Hi, I'm Joran. I'm with Project Entropy and I wanted to give a bit of an overview about how we're developing our contracts and how we're testing to make sure that they work correctly and what kind of seems to be working for us and what stuff sort of really doesn't work and has taken ages and ages. Um, so we want to go through a few gotchas, a few really good patterns that do work and a few things that don't work. So you've checked out the code. You should have have this here, um, and now we're I'm just going to walk you through how how this all works and how this how this fits together. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open it up in whatever text editor you like, and then that should just give us a bit of a bit of an overview of like what's going on. So we're using Truffle, um, and Truffle divides the project into uh, these two important parts here. This is contracts, where the actual Solidity code lives, and this part here, which is the tests for the Solidity code. So you can organize these folder structures however you want, but this one is just sort of showing um, like a standard way of doing it. So all, all of the stuff to do with tokens is in here, um, and this is at the moment the main, the main sort of entry point. Um, so as you can see, entropy is inheriting from entropy token. So, and if you follow entropy token, you can say, see that entropy token inherits from standard token and standard token inherits from token, which is this one here. So this means you can get all of the functionality of um, a standard token contract. But we just, with this one, we do a little bit extra um, to allow people to purchase tokens. And then what you have in here is tests. So anything that ends as a JavaScript file will get picked up um, by Mocha, which is the test framework thing. So I've, because there's quite a lot to entropy, I've divided it into three files for the moment. So this one deals with um, how entropy uh, handles people. So you, here you can see this is a special kind of describe um, shortcut, but because it says contract, it knows that it should redeploy um, all the contracts uh, as part of Truffle. So make sure everything's all, all, all nice and fresh every time, every time you run the tests. Also, it includes this accounts thing, um, which is like the Web3 accounts object. So from there, you can do things like... Oh, it's not actually doing anything in this one. But you can, oh, here. So you can call a function based off a specific account. Um, and up here at the top, actually, we're doing a shortcut to define the stranger is the, the, the second in the accounts array. So what took a little while is figuring out how to actually um, get these tests to function because um, because the web three, which is wrapped around um, by a, a thing called ether pudding, which consensus labs make, um, it, it uses this promise, um, this promise JavaScript uh, library, which is pretty cool, but it, it means you have a, a sort of weird, um, un, unfamiliar um, way of, of interacting with the code. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a journey of things that go wrong when you're trying to test stuff with Truffle. So let's go over to the terminal here. And the command to run the test is Truffle, truffle test. So let's run that and see and see how we go. This kind of, um, this took us a while to figure out. So first gotcha is here it has some idea about which tokens and which of the solidity files it, it wants to um, to compile. Now, early on, it just wasn't really picking up the one that it was interested in. I thought it would just be automatic, but um, you actually have to define these. So over inside migrations here, there's this one called deploy contracts. And here you can see um, it's 
said to deploy entropy, which corresponds to that. So you have to, if you make a new Solidity file, you have to add it to here, unless it's one that's um, imports other ones already, because like entropy here actually already imports entropy token. So actually, in theory, um, ooh, 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 this one here, um, we probably don't need this. We can probably take this away. Let's try that. Um, OK, so first error we're getting is there's an invalid JSON response because it can't connect to it. So you have to either have um, test RPC or geth or parity or whatever. Whatever kind of local Ethereum node has to be listening on localhost, like that. So let's try again. Ba -ba -ba. So I feel I feel better about this one. This one should work. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see it actually still knows to compile all these things, um, just because they inside the Solidity code it actually um, they all chain together like that. So um, you just have to have at, le at least one at least one reference um, in here to something that then references everything else. Cool, okay, so this means it's it's managed to get them onto the blockchain and it's going through and doing, doing the tests. So fingers crossed, everything should be all right. Yeah, cool. So that's what it looks like when everything's fine, which is good. So the um, and the green will come back when there's something that has, see these assert assert things here? So this is saying, okay, well, whatever actions count is, should be zero. And then, so that the first non-obvious thing is if, if you don't have done somewhere inside the test block, then um, it'll just run for forever and ever and ever. So let's, yeah. You can just just imagine it running forever, and it will never know how, when to exit the test. Um, but this gets a little tricky because sometimes, um, if you're calling something that then returns a promise, like this one here, is actually um, it's calling something which returns something, and then here inside this then promise, it's making another function which then does the assert. So here we have to once this is done then we can do the done function um but th this is a little bit awkward it, it feels all right okay so you see often the pattern for dealing with when you when you don't want things to happen is to use this throw keyword uh which is fine um but the awkward thing with the throw keyword is the way that the tests handle it seems to be really um, really strange. So this this one here um, is a modifier to make sure that only guardians can do something. So say here um, this one is changing the trustfulness of a citizen and it has the modifier saying only guardians should be able to do this. Um, and then, then there's the code which does the change that we're expecting and it makes the event here. So there's a test around this. Um, da, 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 an entropy people chip. Okay, so here it's making sure that everyone starts off as not trusted. And then here it's saying, okay, make, make sure that guardians can trust citizens. Um, so this first bit says, just deploy deploy entropy. Um, so actually, there's a helper thing here, and then there's this this thing which is the the deploy entropy contracts, and this is just saying uh, make make a new instance of entropy. This is then calling ether puddings mapping of what the entropy solidity file is, and just making sure it has enough gas to actually do that. Um, so it does that. And then it has this object that's returned back by the helper, which is actually a reference to entropy itself. Now, first really useful thing to know is if you do truffle console, you can actually get um, you can get the same thing. And so before you just try and write tests, you can try it 
in the command line with a real thing. So you can say var entropy equals entropy dot deployed. And then weirdly it doesn't return anything, but then entropy will actually be um the same the same interface object that you get inside the tests. So here it has um you can do entropy dot and then you can get all the functions. So it's got the is citizen function here, um, but it's wanting like the uh, it's wanting the address of some citizen. So actually, you can do is citizen web three dot f dot coinbase for example, which is like um, the coinbase of of um, the local test. RPC, uh, or you can say f counts one or something. And just check this guy, and nope, none of those, none of those are citizens. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so this entropy dot set trust, you you could just copy and paste this over. Um, that would that would be fine. And then here, actually, instead of new trusted citizen, if we do web three dot f counts zero. Um, cool. So this guy, you can see he actually returns the transaction ID of um, of like when it happened. Uh, so you'll see over here. Yeah, get transaction receipt. Okay, there's um there's an awful lot more that we haven't covered yet, but um this is just the first the first episode in the series. So. Uh, check check the comments below for more information and good luck with your contracts.